Hello everyone, welcome you all to this video. In this video, I would like to share something about the manufacturing technology. This manufacturing technology is also called by the name production technology or manufacturing engineering so on. First, let me make you understand what is manufacturing technology. This manufacturing technology is a process of converting the raw materials into the finished goods or the finished products. So without finishing this or without this conversion, we cannot use the raw materials directly everywhere. That is quite impossible. So in our day to day life, we are using a lot and lot of things. All these things have come across this manufacturing process. One step ahead, I can say we cannot even imagine the world without this manufacturing process. In such a way, its influence is very high. Everywhere, everywhere, we can be able to see the influence of this manufacturing process. Specifically, in this video, I would like to share some details and information about the pressure die casting techniques. So, this pressure die casting techniques is a topic comes in this manufacturing technology one, which is on the syllabus of third semester mechanical engineering. So this pressure die casting technique is quick, reliable and cost effective manufacturing process which is having an injection plunger mechanism which is similar to the injection syringe what we are using to send medicine inside our bodies. That is like when we are loading the medicine inside, when we push the syringe, when we push it, the medicine comes out through the other end and getting into our body. Similarly, the molten metal will be poured inside and with the help of this injection plunger that will be sent inside the mold cavity very fastly and in high pressure. There it gets solidified rapidly. This solidification process happens very fastly, very fastly and quickly that takes some milliseconds to few seconds. In such a way, it happens very Firstly, after the solidification process, we are removing or we are extracting the casted product from the mold cavity. This is what the regular procedure happens here in this pressure die casting techniques. Depending upon the pressure used, there are two types of pressure die casting, namely high pressure die casting and low pressure die casting. High pressure die casting has wider applications, nearly 50% of all light alloy casting productions. And currently, low pressure die casting accounts for about 20% of the total production, but its usage is increasing uh, day by day. High pressure castings are must for castings requiring tight tolerance and detail geometry when the extra pressure is able to push the metal into more detailed features in the mold low pressure die casting is commonly used for larger and non-critical parts so where all we using this high pressure die casting methods and where we using this low pressure die casting methods let me tell it more clearly so wherever and whenever we need the detailed feature products and whenever and wherever we need the product which is having a good geometry there definitely we must opt this high pressure die casting techniques because whenever we go for this high pressure die casting techniques the product will be having a good look detailed features and the geometry also will be very accurate the size and shape of the product will be very accurate as we have given in the design. The manufacturing process begins with this product design. So initially we are designing the product and we are executing it. And this low pressure die casting is commonly used for larger and non-critical parts. So wherever we need the quantity in large amount or wherever we need the quantity is much higher 
in that place we can able to use this low pressure die casting techniques so if the parts what we are actually wanted to make are not critical definitely we can choose this low pressure die casting techniques first let me explain about this high pressure die casting techniques this high pressure die casting techniques having a types like hot chamber process and a cold chamber process so these are the two types in this high pressure die casting techniques in the hot chamber process this is applicable only for zinc and other low melting point alloys that does not affect an erode metal pots cylinders and the plunges the working of the hot chamber process goes like this the molten metal for casting is placed in the holding furnace at the required temperature adjacent to the machine the molten metal will be kept in adjacent to the machine sometimes even inside the machine the furnace will be placed and the metal will be heated there and it will be reaching the liquid state and after that it will be carried to the mold cavity the injection mechanism is placed within the holding furnace and most of its parts is in constant touch with the molten metal so when the pressure is transmitted by the injection piston that is what i already said it will be moved very fastly as well as in the high pressure the metal is forced through the gooseneck into the die and on the return stroke the metal is drawn towards the gooseneck for the next shot so this process ensures minimum contact between the air and the metal to be injected so the tendency of entrainment of air in the metal during injection is also minimized so this is what the working procedure of hot chamber pressure die casting techniques as i said before the metal will be heated inside the machine or adjacent to the machine and with the help of the plunger injection plunger that will be sent inside the mold cavity with high pressure and very fastly so there it gets solidified or there it gets cooled after that it will be extracted from the mold cavity will be getting a casting so this is what the regular procedure happens here in this hot chamber pressure die casting techniques when we look at the cold chamber pressure die casting techniques the process are same but the difference between this hot chamber and the cold chamber pressure die casting technique is in the hot chamber pressure die casting techniques there we heat the metal either inside the machine or adjacent to the machine but here in this cold chamber process the metal will be heated separately so that will not be having any link between the machine and the heating furnace the furnace will be kept separately or it will be in another place from that the metal will be heated and that will be reaching a liquid state and after that that will be taken with the help of the ladle and be, will be poured inside the machine The difference of this process with the hot chamber process is that the injection system is not submerged in molten metal. Metal gets transferred by the ladle as I said before. Manually or automatically it happens. To the short sleeve, the metal is pushed into the die by a hydraulically operated plunger. This process minimizes the contact time between the injector components. and the molten metal which extends the life of the components however the entrainment of air into the metal generally associated with high speed injection which can cause gas porosity in the castings in this cold chamber machine injection pressures over 10000 psi generally steel castings along with aluminum and copper based alloys are produced by this method so this is what the difference between hot chamber pressure die casting techniques and the cold chamber pressure die casting techniques the only difference between this hot chamber and the cold chamber is 
the metal will be heated inside or adjacent to the machine in the hot chamber and the metal will be heated separately in the cold chamber die casting process next let me come to the low pressure die casting techniques this low pressure die casting manufacturing process happens with the help of the low pressure air that will be monitored and managed by the plc where we can adjust the pressure of the air so initially in the high pressure die casting techniques we are using the injection plunger but here in this low pressure die casting techniques we are using the low pressure air itself high quality castings of aluminium alloys along with magnesium and other low melting points alloys are usually produced through this process casting of aluminium in the weight range of 2 to 150 kg or as a common features we can able to produce a product which weighs around some 2 to 150 kg this process works like first a metal die is positioned above a sealed furnace containing a molten metal a refractory line riser extends from the bottom of the die into the molten metal low pressure air is then introduced into the furnace this makes the molten metal rise up the tube and enter the die cavity with low turbulence after the metal has solidified the air pressure is released this makes the metal still in the molten state in the riser tube to fall back into the furnace after subsequent cooling the die is open and the casting will be extracted so at last let me tell some advantages of this pressure die casting techniques so initially i said it is a little bit costier and the dies are very costly i said earlier but when comparing to other manufacturing process comparatively it is of low cost and economical typically productions of any number of components from thousands to millions before requiring replacement is possible castings with close dimensional control and a good surface finish can be obtained while we are using this pressure die casting techniques so whenever we use this pressure die casting techniques we can always expect a good surface finish it will be of good looking also castings with thin walls and therefore are lighter in weight these are the advantages of pressure die casting methods and where all we are applying this the applications of this pressure die casting uh, technique is automotive parts like wheels blocks cylinder heads and manifolds etc we are also using uh, this technology in the aerospace industries uh, by using this pressure die casting techniques we are producing uh, products for the aerospace industry this can be also used for electric motor housings kitchenware such as pressure cookers cabinets for the electronics industry general hardware appliances that is like pump parts plumbing uh, parts so these are the applications about the pressure die casting techniques here i would like to conclude hope uh, this video would be more useful for you see you all in the next video mm -hmm.